Hey guys, bad news hit Tinubu in London as gunmen assassinate APC chairman. Hmm. See how it happened. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bako Bala, the chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC in Sure local government area of KB State has been tragically killed by unknown gunmen. According to reports, the attack took place at his residence and his death has sent shock waves throughout the community. Zaidu Bala, the special advisor on television and radio to Nasser Idris, the governor of Quebec State confirmed the incident in a Facebook post. He expressed his sorrow, stating, To Allah we belong, and to him we shall return. Halaji Bako Bala has died, APC chairman of Suru local government. He died after kidnappers took him and his family last night and shot him. He has now passed away at the medical center hospital in burini kb may hala have mercy on him the tragic events has left many questioning the increasing insecurity in the region when contacted for a statement knife abubakar the people the police spokesperson in quebec state mentioned that he will confirm the details of the incident and provide further information the killing of Bako Bala is part of a broader trend of violence that has affected the northwestern part of Nigeria in recent times. The region has been blocked by a sway in banditry and kidnapping, leading to widespread fear and instability. Security forces have been working to curb the violence by challenges. Uh, remain. In recent months, there has been several notable incidents in the region. On September 11, personnel from the Nigerian Air Force (NAF) successfully trapped a terrorist attack on facilities belonging to the Department of State Service (DSS) in the Shiriro local government, Niger State. A day later, on September 12. Gunmen reportedly kidnapped several travelers on a highway in Zamfara State. These incidents highlight the growing insecurity in the region. On a more positive note, Nigeria troops have achieved some significant success, uh, success in their fight against bandits. On September 13, troops from Operation Hadin Hade, Dachi. OPHT killed Kachila Buzu, a notorious bandit leader, along with several of his fighters in Zamfara, uh, in Zamfara State. Furthermore, on September 25th, security force killed another infamous bandit leader, uh, Makari, and several of his fighters in the Madami area of Kusu local government area in Zamfara State. President Bola Tinubu has praised the Nigerian army for their effort in counter surgeons operations, particularly in the northwest region. He has called on security force to maintain their momentum and continue their effort until all threats are fully eradicated. The president has assured them of his continued support to ensure the safety and security of the of the nation. So, guys, when I don't hear the matter now, uh, this is sad. It's very sad. Uh, but these are the things we have been talking about because time will come. Even uh, God forbid, though, uh -huh, with the way all these things they go, they go feed. They enter senators their house. Uh, commissioners them house, governors them house, even to their sense say uh, last month a bandit 
threatening to kidnap President Bola Meitinubu for you to know, for you to know how bad the situation is. They not get fear again, so they feel that they can do anything you get. It's so sad. It's very, very sad. But this will make these leaders to understand that every, anybody can be a victim. Because when Nigerians started shouting, they thought it's only those who go to farm go be victim of these people. But you see, he's coming home. You understand? He's coming home. They are using this security. Uh, they, in fact, they are using, they are doing it. I, be, I want to come politicizing it. I think that should be uh, the, the word I wanted to use. They are politicizing it. Things like this, they don't play with it. They don't play with it. We don't know where we are going to Nigerians because the matter is going to stay very, very worse. Well, may so rest in peace. And now the question is, have we actually learned? Have we actually learned? Are we ready, you know, to make sure that this issue of insecurity in Nigeria becomes a thing of the past? That is it. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today.